Hello? Hello? Don't know if I'm going to get used to having a big screen, a big cam screen. Uh, how are you doing, Kryphos and Jonkor? Uh, welcome in. You're playing with random people. You know, I didn't even know you could play with random people in Tabletop Simulator. I've only ever played with friends. <laughs> Hello, War Pancake in French. I'm afraid I don't know French, but I assume it is something CG. Uh, cool, yes, so as is becoming the theme. Okay, yeah, pancake, crepe de guerre. Gue, gue, gua, gue, gua. Gue, 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 gue. I'm broken. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, as is usually the case, got back from the cinema like 20 minutes ago uh watched indiana jones and the dial of destiny and within the 20 minutes that i've been home i managed to post a review for indiana jones and the dial of destiny uh yeah get yeah i don't know what the h adds to that <laughs> um so what am i doing right now grr grr I mean, girl makes sense for war. Uh, so right now, what I should be doing is going to the gameplay and picking up where we left off. Because other than that update about having got back from the cinema watching Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, uh, I don't have much else to say right now. Yeah, like hair. Oh yeah, he died. You won't get away with this, Krauser. I tell you what, here's an update. Here's an uppity update. Am I confusing my Resident Evils here? This looks a lot like a bit in Resident Evil 2, I think, where you have to push the big thing with the lots of eyes uh, with a crate. Game is kind of quiet. Say something, Leon. How's that? I've played the original Dead Space. I've not played the remake. I played the original second Dead Space and felt my heart slightly slump. And then I played the third Dead Space and felt utter despair. <laughs> That is my Dead Space journey. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, update. I have a new D&D player joining my group. Um, I went to a party on Saturday, the previous Saturday, in Wales, of all places. Lovely Wales. And uh, I met someone there who has shown an interest in joining D&D. So I need to onboard someone new into D&D. Which is fun and it's occurring to me today that i don't have time to go to the movies as often as i go to the movies to stream to support other people and to dnd and to look after myself like just where's the time for that and i feel really bad that I'm not supporting people, like watching their streams as much because I'm busy or I just have their stream on and I'm busy and not really paying attention. It does make me feel bad, uh, but 
it is what I kind of have to do. And I kind of also accept that that means I may fade away from the communities a little bit. People won't feel like being like, hey, CG, yay, you're here, that kind of stuff. Um, it is what it is. I do have to put some real life ahead of Twitch. Uh, it's kind of funny, the time where I get the most time to actually support people on Twitch is when I'm working. And that should be when I'm working. <laughs> uh, you wish you were joining my group? Well, I don't know, actually. I don't know. Maybe when I introduce my friends to my online identity. None of my friends know about this, really. <laughs> I had to read all. On a scale of Resident Evil 1 to PT, how scary is it? How scary is what? Uh, bad joke. You ready for this? You ready for this? Let's pick one. Somewhere in the middle. Now, I haven't read these. So, let's see how this goes. Pupil! I didn't bring my calculator today. Teacher. And? Pupil. I've got nothing to add. I hope you enjoyed that. That was the bad joke. So listen up. They took your friend to the top of the clock tower. <laughs> if you hurry... Hey, no worries, but coming from someone who's had a ton of major and minor breaks from Twitch and various friend groups, you won't fade away as much as you think. Well, that's nice to hear. Oh, Dead Space! I forgot. I totally forgot we were talking about that. The first one is legitimately pretty scary. It's Alien Isolation level, I would say, for the first half. Then you are kitted up with a, like, not an assault rifle, but essentially a machine gun. Uh, and your plasma cutter will be upgraded. At that point, it stops being scary and starts becoming more of an action shooter. So the first half, pretty scary. The most interesting thing about the second one is the scariest bit in the second uh, Dead Space is, uh, how you doing, Green? Welcome in, is the bit where you actually go back into the ship from the first one, because you're feeling that nostalgia fear. <laughs> I guess I should be thankful. Mm, Ada. I like Ada. Oh, you lost screen. Never mind. You'll get it next time. I have actually partially implemented a scoreboard. Oh, we're back in the bug room uh, for rock, paper, scissors. So it is now actually registering your wins it's just there's no way for you to see that only i can see it oh god they're still alive ow you just clapped me upside the head didn't realize they were still alive let's have a look at these Someone help me recover a stolen jewel snatched by a thieving crow. I bet it can be found in the vile thing's nest. It's an heirloom of our family and cannot become some bird's plaything. Courtyard. Uh, the detestable Ramon Salazar. Even the very sight of his image makes my skin crawl. Do me a service and find some way to deface the portrait of him in the room shown in the photograph, will you? Not particular about how you do it. Hitting it with something might do the trick. Okay. Have I been in that room? I don't recognize that room. Oh, nothing but the finest ways. Hey, buddy. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Cool. Do I have anything to sell? No, I don't want to sell that yet. But yeah, spoiler for my review of Dial of Destiny. Uh, not bad, actually. Had fun with it. 
There you go. That is the... So my reviews are short because people's attention spans can't handle 10 minute reviews. But that is the extra extra short version of the review. Okay, let's go back into the bug room. Oh, you're still alive? How about you don't be still alive? Nice. It is very muggy today. I was hoping it would storm. Uh, but we don't really get storms very often here. It's one of the reasons I like going to the cinema so much. Aircon! Potatoes and a treasure. Bugs? I don't trust it. There's got to be more around here. Here, skittering. Okay, I think we might have cleared this area now. I suppose I should check the upstairs. Where do you go? Oh, you go back there. Okay. Oh, there's a vase. Vase? Vase? You go. So I have a small key. I know there was a chest I couldn't open somewhere, but I don't know that I can be bothered to go all the way back to it. So we might press on. Maybe we could get that. I don't know. I, I still haven't figured out what the exclamation mark means, whether that means I can get it or not. Ooh, red herb over there. Let's go get that. I wonder if there are actually herbs in real life that are red. Can't think of any. Somewhere around here? A bit further. There you are. Right, let's make a thingy. Go. Cool. Sort. Let's see if we can make something useful. Handgun or shotgun. Rifle. Hmm. Actually, I don't know whether I want rifle or shotgun. Now I've upgraded the shotgun more. 
We have got a lot of shotgun and not much rifle. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go with rifle. Legs of steel. No way anyone could humanly make that jump. Ridiculous. Oh, throne room. That's where I need to go, I think, for the painting. Which way is it? Behind me. Oh, yeah, this is the room where I, last time I came here, I was absolutely mullered by the bugs. And then there were two chainsaw dudes in here. Fan. Not a fan. No, nope, these bugs. Hate them. Ugh. Creepy. You're still alive. How are you still alive? Ugh. I hate them. I hate them. They're creepy. Worst enemy in the game. Okay. Uh, throne room is next room? Yeah. I don't know that I've been in here. I don't recognize this room. October, eight years since my awakening. At last, my noble pursuit progresses to its final stage, the fusion of human and insect. The housekeeper has graciously volunteered herself for the experiment. I shall pour my whole heart into this endeavor in order to transcend humanity and, re and make Master Ramon proud. March, nine years since my awakening. A glorious union has been made. The housekeeper has endured much suffering, but not for naught. Behold the fruits of our labor in all its beauty. I shall consecrate this perfect life form with the name U3, for three is the most beautiful and complete number. Yeah, we definitely haven't read this. April, nine years since my awakening. U3, my dear hound, a Santa, has been chosen to serve as the right hand of Master Ramon. But is two not better than one? Now it is my turn to demonstrate my loyalty. His humble servant, Isidro Uriart Talavera. Dude, dude, can you turn your torch on? Torch on? Your torch on? That's your thing. What's that all about? Oh wait, no, we have been in here. I think. That's where we got chucked into the basement. Yeah, weird guy was up there.
Egg. I'll be taking this. Oh, Master Ramon, with tomorrow's procedure, I shall finally surpass the limitations of this mortal shell. What's left of me now shall soon be gone. Magnificent. The holy body is a wondrous miracle. The fealty I've sworn to Master Ramon is the sole light that illuminates my path. Our fates shall be entwined until the very end. Have you ever known such loyalty? Uh, how do I sweep? Chickens! Roll credits. There's no time for resting. I feel like there's going to be a thing if I keep sitting here. He'll stand up by himself. Okay. Is this his family? Oh, is this the one I need to... My lord, my true benevolent father, bless the Salazar bloodline with an iron hammer. The founder of my family proclaimed the holy teachings of Los Illuminados, evil and persecuted its followers. Uh, not only that, he stole their most prized possession and sealed it below the castle. Blasphemy, insolence. How long have I suffered the shame of knowing that the same blood flows through my veins? Finally, the Day of Atonement has come. Oh, my beloved Lord Sadler, I shall release the holy plagues that were hidden under the castle. The time is now. With divine grace, the wicked shall be reborn as a part of the flock, reborn as Ganado. They shall become, uh, they shall be my Lord's loyal servants. Nothing would please me more than to sit at my Lord's feet bask in your splendor. I am your humble servant. You are my eternal light. To you, I swear my unwavering allegiance. Bit full on. I mean, you could have just, like, said, to call it we hang, bro. I feel like it's that one I'm supposed to be destroying. The weird guy, but I'm not sure. And also, clearly, stabbing it doesn't appear to be how you destroy it. <clears throat> well, that did nothing. How do I destroy it? I'm confused. How do I do the thing you want me to do, game? Do I need to, like, do something with this, maybe? Get some mud? me goggle. <laughs> trying to deface is one of the stranger requests, blah blah blah. I'm trying to locate a gold, blah blah blah. And again, if anyone deserves to have blah blah blah. Slashing even throwing a grenade, but it won't complete the request until you have the right object. Here's where to find something. Yeah, I know, I found it.
Want to arrive? Yeah. Throw an egg. And I didn't even know you could throw it. How do I throw an egg? Egg? Equip? Yeah, here we go. Hey, that should do it. And I'm gonna grab those just for the sake of it and eat one. Nom nom nom. Never eaten raw yet. Well, have I eaten raw egg? I've had mayonnaise. That's raw egg, I guess. Right. So if you were a crow, where would you be? I wonder if it tells you where. I mean, we could go get that treasure. We've dealt with the um, doggos. Yeah, why not? Why not? We're on a detour. Maybe we'll find this elusive crow on the way. I'll listen out for the sound of crows. Also, can I? No, almost certainly not. Yes, actually. Not hearing any crows, so I assume it's not here. Oh, oh, bugs! Go, 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 go! Now, do I need to go back in there at some point? Do I get there? Oh, yeah, there's a train there. Yeah, I do. Okay, bummer. But for now, uh, we want to keep going to the courtyard, through the courtyard, and then that way. All the while listening for crows. I don't hear any crows. Well, we're here. So that's a request done. Dusty, eh? Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff, stranger. What can Got I anything cool? You eh. Eh. Not really. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> I don't think it's probably worth doing the um the three. There's a crow. The three uh, shooting things that I haven't done properly. Because I think I have the best doodads. Now where did that crow go? Do we think that's... Is that the crow? I mean... Has to be right. Why would they be like, hey, look, here's very obviously a crow? Okay, I mean, we're gonna have to come back through here anyway, so. Your words are as empty as your future. I hear a crow. Definitely heard a crow. Oh. Is it 
It has to be somewhere that you can get to. Am I following it? I didn't even see it. It's way too dark. Oh no, there's another one. I was not expecting that. There's a third one in here somewhere. Oh, sweaty palms. Sweaty palms. Uh, I'm going to munch an egg. Smoke them if you got them. No? I thought there was a third one. You? Are you alive? Nice. Don't you dare. Uh, right. Google. Where's the crow? Location you have to find in Salabar's gloomy castle if you want to complete the jewel. Blah 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 blah. Guys, when the crow kill drops a few coins, you can hurl a hand grenade into the flock. That's why crow's nest location. You can find the jewel thief. Uh, chapter twelve. When you emerge from an underground via a lift into a small room with the gondola leading towards the clock tower, the poster is on the wall. The quest asks you. To look in the court, yeah, it's in the courtyard. Okay. Roof of the building next to the merchant shop. There's a merchant shop in the courtyard. Go. Or does it mean this? Because there's a merchant shop there. It's too dark. I can't see a thing. I mean, that looks like a crow's nest, I think. Does it? Oh, breaks over, I suppose. Okay. Roof of the building next to the merchant shop. Is there a merchant shop somewhere in here? You spent so long finding it. All I know is courtyard and roof of building next to merchant shop, but the only merchant shop I can think of is this one. And I don't see anything. Unless I can get up there. Can I get up there? I don't know. Oh!
Oh, fantastic. Can't see a thing. Did I get it? No. He went that way. Why did it have to be something that's black? <laughs> I can't see it. Game, help me out. Make it glow. I might have to ramp up my brightness for this. Here we go. That's a good view. Killed a crow for no reason. Where's... Where am I supposed to go then? Eek! You've done. Yeah, there isn't, there quite simply isn't a merchant shop in the courtyard. I'm 95% sure. Which means it has to be out here somewhere. I do it. <gasps> Don't mind if I do. Oh, I'm not sure that was it, but I think that was useful, at least. Oh no, I do have that colour in the crown. Darn it! Now, what is that? Is that just a bag of garlic? No, Google, I'm going to need you to be way more precise. Like, give me a screenshot. Nest is located on the roof of the building next to the merchant shop. If you head out of the courtyard, turn right towards the wine cellar, heading past the fountain. The nest is straight ahead of you on the roof. Another method is to scare the crow above the archway. When you come into the courtyard from the ground floor, then just follow it back to its nest location. When you get there, shoot the nest. Uh, to make it drop. Oops. 
So past the fountain, that. So I should be able to see a nest up there somewhere? It's way too dark. I can't see a darn thing. Display brightness. I mean, that's not a nest. I mean, the guide makes it sound like it's up there. Unless it's way up there. Maybe it's like way up there. Anything nest? Nest-like? Nope. Nothing nesty. I mean, that's not a nest, is it? Nope. Take a look. Something's bound to catch your eye. Welcome. Ooh. I guess. Next so, time. I thought it might have been that green emerald. Am I going to have to find a video of this? Are you going to make me find a video of this? Because I have reached maximum boredom looking for this thing. Now, YouTube. Resident Evil for Remake Crow's Nest. Okay. So, yeah, cool. I've been there. Why is this guy just wandering around? Ah! Cool. Cool. Thank you. That's all I needed. Which means I did get it. How come he didn't say I got it? Yeah, I got it. I did it. I did the thing, but it didn't pop up with, well done, you did it. Or the uh, merchant being like, it seems you've completed another quest. Ooh. Do you not get spinels for that one? Location you'll have to find Salivar, blah 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 blah. Maximize the number of spinels you've got to trade. By quest you have to locate a sneaky crow, recover a jewel. Uh, can you add some more expensive redeems? Yeah, 40, 48,000 coffee beans. Uh, I mean, I have been thinking about things. 
Griffos, help! I am so confused. I killed the crow's nest. And I picked up a green gem. But the merchant hasn't been like, you completed a quest. You sell it. Just sell the gem. As is. Okay. Breaks over, I suppose. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale. Oh, it's not it's not I'll one of the special ones. I thought it was just one of those. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Thank you. <laughs> Fine work. <laughs> nice work. Anything else I can help you with? I have Eleven spinnels. Oh, is killing me. Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. For the Matilda. Don't know what that is. Oh, it's that. I might just get the gunpowder. Pleasant travels. Uh right, let's put the brightness back down. Maybe not all the way, because it is too dark. Just until the image in the center is barely visible. It is barely visible. It is even more barely visible. That'll do. Right. Ooh. Is that actually the right setting that I should have been using this whole time? Ah, I can see things. What? I bet it's because I changed a bunch of things after it had already done the initial change your brightness. You know what would be cool? Um, shoes that grow with your feet. If games had a variable brightness for recording and playing, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Not as cool as shoes that grow with your feet. Though. Uh, right, so we want to go through and left to avoid the bugs. For a moment, I thought it was locked. Whew. Uh, gun, gun rhymes with fun. Yes, I know you've said it that a million times. Rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. <laughs> Can I give you a, a tip, merchant? Repeating the same joke over and over again loses its wit very quickly. But that would probably need a specific recording software within the game. Yeah, which would be handy because they could optimize it better than the clock tower. Uh, something like OBS would. Actually. Hey CG, what do you call a benzene ring with iron atoms replacing the carbon atoms? I don't know, Krifos. What do you call a benzene ring with iron atoms replacing the carbon atoms? A ferris wheel. <laughs> That's a good joke. I like that joke. It's your only joke. I mean, it's much better than gun rhymes with fun. You've told that to one of your no longer friends like 100 times. And is that why you are no longer friends? No. Okay. You sure? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, you slow clapping me. You are nothing, if not unyielding, Mr. Kennedy. However, I'm afraid it ends here. Expel this intruder. He didn't. Oh. I can jump to a conclusion from that. I am sorry if my conclusion is correct. that the kick takes out the other ones as well. I stopped being friends with... Okay, that was not my conclusion. That was not my conclusion. Okay, that is much better than my conclusion. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you get to my age and that starts to happen. Oh, yes, you are. Closer, but stay in the same distance. <laughs> Does that mean I should sing happy birthday to you in 24 minutes? No. <laughs> oh, God, thank you. <laughs> Where, so the company I used to work for, um, when we were in an office, made a relatively big deal out of birthdays. Like someone would bake a cake for you uh, and everyone would gather and there'd be a card and all that kind of stuff. And they'd be singing happy birthday. And um, I, so there, there are a number of people at the company I was very, very close to. Still am, still am actually. Some of them I played D&D with, some of them I saw this Saturday. Um, and for funsies, I would pick one of them to just focus, stare at whilst they were singing. It delighted me. Oh. You hate having to sing happy birthday, especially if you don't really like the person. Well, Griffos, in this instance, that wouldn't be the case. Okay. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Yeah. No, oh, I missed twice. Oh, you killed my body arm. Oh. Where's the fire coming from? Uh, how do I avoid that? I guess I don't. How far are you going to come? Ow. Oh no! That went poorly. Darkberry Tango. Don't especially like it, but it's cheap. We've reached the point of the cost of living crisis where cheap is important. I'm rationing my hobnobs.
Okay. Swift start. I really appreciate games like Uncharted and Tomb Raider, where when you pick up a treasure, it saves. So you still have to do the fight if you die, but you don't have to pick up the treasure. Okay. Oh, does the flame not start until I step on the wood? Eek. I can't see, darn it. Pretty dynamite. <laughs> oh, Grevas, what? I spotted something you didn't spot? What crazy RLO dimension is this? We're in opposite land. I mean, in fairness, you're running through means you probably didn't have to deal with a lot of these. Oh. I don't know why I moved in real life. Want to know something cool? The golden egg that I have, I'm aware. does 70% of the boss health bar if you hit him in the tongue with it. Really? He's allergic to eggs. Fatality? Uh, that's an answer to a question. He is, yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I know I'm gullible. I know I'm gullible. Should I believe that? Do I trust you enough to believe that? Promise. Okay. I guess it's like a big tongue then. You'll see what I mean by tongue. Yeah. 
Do I want to do that, or is it better to sell it? Like, how hard is the boss? Oh god, I'm almost out of pistol ammo. I mean, the gold egg is 10k or so. Nah, yeah, that's not that much, really. <laughs> oh, the ball's red! Because I smushed them. I like that. That's a nice bit of detail. No! You are so happy you actually have something concrete to do tomorrow now. What are you up to? What are your plans? My plans are to work. Work, work. The game that Mo is playtesting with his community tomorrow. I'm afraid I do not know anything about that. Neither do you. No, I mean, I, I didn't even know it was a thing that's happening. It seems like a cool thing to do. Oh, it'll be on Discord. I missed anything before I hit the lever? Hit the lever? Where's that treasure? That is very difficult to tell if I can get that. And that. Actually, that is easier to tell. Shit. Did that do something? Or did I just waste a barrel I could have used? Oh, I feel like I might just be wasting barrels if I shoot those. Treasure here. Down a level. Here? Not treasure, but definitely handy. Down here? Oh, it's a swinger. I hear it swinging. Swinger? There you are. <gasps> Is that the last one I need? In my gemstones. Poi pull. Hey! Five color bonus, two times. Look at that. 100 grand. 100,000 potatoes. So now, what I don't know is if there's any way for me to get that. I'm inclined to say no, because it doesn't light up. Seems like it's beyond this wall. Uh, 
But there isn't a pathway to get there. Yeah, I'm going to assume that I can't get that yet. Very slow lift. You, you, oh, you get an achievement, do you? I'm probably not going to... Oh, God. There we go. No achievement, but it didn't die. <laughs> That's pretty impressive if you can do that without anyone getting on. Also, was it in your stream that you talked about making food for Griffiance? Yes, you made a fajita chicken, or taco chicken, and pasta. Oh, this rings a bell. I actually remember this a little bit anyway. She liked it so much she wanted you to make more today. That's good. Good job. <laughs> you achieved it. Why is that yellow? Only well, yellow means you can go that way. Ah. Ashley. Anything else? Any other little white dots I can look at? Just the one?
Oh, shouldn't have gone for the head. The opposite of Thanos. Whoops, accidentally hit the start key. If this was Dark Souls, I'd be jumping onto that. <laughs> oh. How do I get that? Oh, just wasting, wasting bullets. Don't run. There you go, that's what I learned from that. Don't run. There I was thinking that was nothing but a gimmick and it wouldn't actually break. Okay. God damn it! I made a joke about power washing being a synonym for a golden shower in Morty's chat. And turns out it actually is. That's kind of gross. Definitely, definitely kind of gross. Ooh, yellow herb. Uh, can I do anything useful with you? Not especially. That's how you get these barrels. A spray. Generous game. So very generous. Whee! Based on urban dictionary, it is. Uh, because of my case. So, what am I doing? I am repairing my knife. Where are you? Knife repairs. I am upgrading. And that's it. Welcome. Where would it? What can I do you for? Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. Krifos. I'm pretty sure this is correct, but I have one of each color gem in this crown. That is the best one. Cool. Though it also is pissing to remove. Ugh. Oh, I. Ugh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ooh, I got, got a achievement. selection of good things on sale, stranger. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty messed up and disgusting. Uh, it is not CG after dark yet. Mm. We do that. We do that. And they gemstones. I mean, I got loads of blue. We could do a red and a red. It's Krifos after dark. You have officially become 22. Legally. Happy birthday, Krifos. And many more, or whatever. <laughs> Look forward to the withering decay of your body. I suppose it doesn't start until you're around 25. The withering decay. So what's that? 27,500? 25,200? Okay. Twenty-three. Right, so that seems the best. Yeah. That is as much as we can get for that item. Welcome. Alba, thank you. Okay. So we want to repair our knife. We want to repair our body armor. Try that on for size. There you are. Add not enough cash, stranger. Almost at full power on everything. Will that be all? Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> uh customized case. We want our run speed back. And what was in the middle? Probably that. Shotgun shells. Yeah. Yeah. On would we go? Take a look. Something found to catch you. Do you feel any different now, Krivos? Wiser? Sage-like. Feel like you can uh, talk meaningfully, meaningfully and knowledgeably about politics and mortgages. I tell you what, that is something that does get boring as you get older. People talking about mortgages and things like that. And so. I feel like my sanity and knowledge have been increased by one, but your speed might have decreased by one. Ashley! Remember Golden Egg. He's a mold from Resident Evil 7? Hi, Cactus Brain. Thank you so much for the luck. I hope you're doing well. Oh, God. Oh. 
I mean, if anything, that was pretty cool to see. I'm looking for a tongue, and I'm not sure if I should be looking for a tongue. You mean just throw it at him? Like, when the thing is open, he is the tongue. It's the dude, yeah. Okay. You are using tongue liberally. <laughs> uh, to steal from Galexis. That so is what she said. I have the girl to you as Oh, you moved? Absolutely not. Magnum ammo. And so... Show me a weak spot. I've done it! Yeah, I threw the egg. It hit him. And then I meleeed him. Now I'm just trying to get a good shot on him. Ow. You went to the bathroom. <laughs> Again, Grivos, thank you for the dip. That was so much easier with the egg. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> In fairness, I don't remember the fight from the first time I played the game, which probably suggests I did it first time, somehow. You had a rocket launcher for this. Can I hoover up any more ammo before we move on? You use oh, you use the golden egg to deface the portrait. Yeah, because the chickens weren't dropping regular ones. Oh boy, that sucks. Ashley, no time to lose. Oh, oh, are we uh, almost at the lap? I think we might be almost at the lab. Yeah, we're going to the lab now. I thought so. So then it's. Casual jaunt through the lab, 
and then up to a rooftop for a fight involving a helicopter? Maybe? And then somehow there's a jet ski involved. Try the hardest fucking part of the game. <laughs> Please load me up with shotgun shells. And magnum ammo. Love that for me. Uh, craft rifles. Nah. Nah, we're good. That looks fake. That wall looks fake. Fake wall. Did you know that if the boss fight takes you too long, you don't see Krauser in that speedboat? I did not know that, but that's, that's a pretty cool detail. I like when games do that. That's how I do my D&D campaign as well. Like, the world is happening around my players. If they take too long to do something, the quest isn't just going to wait for them. That's a full-on... Oh. Quit taking advantage of my gullibility. And on your birthday of all days. Uh, I have failed you, my lord. I was unable to fulfill your final commandment and keep the boy from the path of wickedness. I caught a glimpse of Master Ramon's evil temperament during his younger years, when he discovered a servant mocked him by uttering Polgacito behind his back. He summoned her to his private chambers after first forcing her to kneel before him. Good God, is this Joffrey? Ramon doused her face with a vial of vitriol uh, he pulled out of his pocket. The young master watched with glee when the servant writhed in agony as the skin melted from her face. His twisted grin still haunts my dreams to this very day. Lovely. Uh, this time, as this, uh, as time passed, Ramon's treachery only deepened, and that infernal cult soon learned they could prey upon his vulnerable heart. Curse the fiends! They've manipulated Master Ramon to and turned him into their puppet. Worst of all, they've managed to use him to unleash Las Plagueis that the Salavar family has fought so long and hard to keep sealed away. Lord Diego, rest assured, I intend to watch over Master Ramon until the very end, whatever fate may befall us. As a faithful servant of the Salavar, Salazar family, since birth, it is my duty and my penance to you. But it does seem like something they could do. It does seem like something they could do. That's, that's what makes it extra believable. Plus, as I was saying, it's the way I run my campaign. Like, if my players are busy on a side quest, the other stuff isn't going to wait for them. Perfect. Won't have to swim after all. Hi, Quill. Good morning. Hope you are well. Thank you for the lurk. Just checking I haven't missed any treasures. Because if I have, I will seek the treasure. Okay, it looks okay. Apart from the stuff I missed at the very beginning, which is probably going to be forever haunting me.
I'm in a boat. Oh, Ada. Mm, Ada. She's so cool. <laughs> Genuinely, Griffos, yes. I don't really do, you know, animated character crushes. Uh, I'm not someone who looks at Jessica Rabbit and is like, ooh, but Ada, she's hot. Also, apparently, like according to the Rule say. 34 site, I have something to ask you. The two characters with the I'll most Rule 34 made out of them Tifa. Because of the booba, probably. And. You know, after the incident. Twilight Spark or. changed. I don't know who that is. You try to save one person, a hundred others die. I guess I changed too. Oh. <laughs> you. Leon S. Kennedy. You haven't changed. You just think you have. Twenty three K and twenty one K. Have you changed, Ada? Or are you just trying to use me again? What do you think? We're here. Twenty four K and twenty two K. Don't think too hard, An image in twenty four K? That's high quality. Three, four, and five are Lucario, who I only know from Smash Brothers. Uh, Rogue the Bat, don't know what that is, and Gardevoir, don't know what that is. Okay, realistically, let's think about it. Hot animated female characters. Ada. Jill? Uh, what's her name from Cyberpunk? The one that uh, isn't straight, so lots of guys were like, Oh, but I really want to romance her. It's like, well, you can't. You can't. She's not straight. Judy, that's right. Ashley, there you are. <laughs> we gotta stop this combo. In fairness, that's about all I can think of. Because I, oh, I remember this bit. I don't really, uh, you know, spend my time watching films and cartoons or whatever, or playing games and thinking about those things. Need to hurry. Did I miss something? Yeah, I do remember this bit, and I do remember this bit being hard. Uh, Mori, hello. How are you doing? Oh, hey, here's a thing I can do now. <gasps> What? I have a full cam mode? <laughs> what were you playing, Morty? Uh Also, this is highly irregular. What are you doing raiding me? I normally raid you. You can't start changing the rules around here. Uh, you were playing something? Oh, and... Uh, your face is obstructed by the raid card. Well, it's only there for a minute. Uh, let's do one of these, as I have no idea. Who is around? Uh, I expect probably no one until you raided, but we'll do one of those just in case. Uh, you were playing Dave the Dr the Diver? I do not know that. Is it fun? What is it? What's it about? Is it about diving? Do you get pearls? I don't know. Um, but yeah, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. If you need to raid and run, please do so. And... You dive, and there's muff. That's all I'll say. 
Is this a Leisure Suite Larry style game? Okay, cool. Full cam was fun. Let's go back to the game. <laughs> There's no... Oh! Is it that game that I saw you playing with a uh, while ago with the bar? Now I have that full cam switch. I'm going to have the same thing Min has, which is not knowing whether the mic is on or not yet. <laughs> uh, the sushi bar? No, the one where you were in a pub. The sushi bar? Spotlights. Let's avoid those. I think that's probably all there is. Yes, I do remember this, Krifos, and I do remember this being hard. Moss' real name is Duff. So you were making a Duff beer joke. That's a Simpsons reference? Oh, hello, lasers. You called Duff Muff. Because funnier. <laughs> it's way harder in the remake as well. Oh dear. I feel... I, I am getting flashbacks of getting very frustrated by this bit. And eventually just kind of giving up and trying to brute force my way through it. This section is where all but one of your deaths happened uh, in your first place. All right, show off. All right, not all of us can be incredible at games like you, Krifos. Some of us are mediocre at best. Killer Seven? That's a game, isn't it? What you see is what I've got. Ooh, I'm done with that, I guess. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. And yes, Killer Seven is a magnum. Oh, is it better than the Broken Butterfly? Yes. Stranger. Can I afford it? I'll pay a pretty penny. Probably. Uh, I need a typewriter then. Ah, there we go. Okay, here's what we do. We go into here, we do the 100% uh, weapon doodad. We do the 5% weapon doodad. We do the 20% weapon doodad. We save. Welcome. Oh, did I miss that? Did I misread that? Have I been misreading that this whole time? Reco- it is, you're right. So I don't need that. Uh, but still, that's pretty good. Uh, so we may as well equip that instead. So we can repair our knife. Ooh. for a bit of rubbish collection stranger I very much doubt I'm gonna be able to afford that before the end of this playthrough very much doubt it yeah no some things money can't buy I'm actually okay with the tokens with the danglers that I have You know what, I'm just going to hold on to him for now. What is the point of using them if I don't need them? Uh, what am I doing? I'm selling the broken butterfly. And I'm buying the Killer 7. Honestly, this might be the only gun you need. I mean, sure, if the game throws ammo at me. Uh, tune up. 
This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Little bit goes a long way. You'll see. Came into some other bits in Bob's too, mate. You don't need to upgrade the knife anymore, by the way. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Because? A well-tuned weapon can make up for a combat any time. You'll see. Okay. Uh, so customize case, run speed, uh, rifle, and shotgun. And, ooh, thank you. Cool, Magnum auto-equipped. Love that for me, and, oh god. I, I'm not a fan of the expression, love that for me. Somehow, somehow, or love that for you, love that for me, love that for you. I'm not a fan of that. Somehow, it has become part of my vernacular because of Twitch. This needs to end. Secretary Hamilton, your response. <laughs> you must be out of your goddamn mind if you think CG loves that for you or me or anyone. I mean, I do love things for people, I just don't like the expression. Uh MDCCXLI. Is that is that like a really big Roman number? Expelled by the militant wicked, we find ourselves in exile. Withered is the grass, barren are the trees. We wait in expiation. Good word. Uh, the ice, this isolated island, our purgatory. Yet despair not, brothers and sisters. Our time shall come. One thousand seven hundred and forty-one. Thank you, Griffos. Once we get beyond Final Fantasy numbers, I don't really uh, pay much attention. <laughs> It's been a long time since I was at school. Uh, so there's a treasure here somewhere. Perplexing. Treasure, where you at? I don't see anything hanging. Is it over there? No. Okay, so it's precisely this way. been really blind? Where the heck is this treasure? Is it in the water? Can I get in the water? I want the treasure game! Give! Oh, what was that? That was a prompt. Is that just climb up ledge? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to move on because it doesn't look like there's any other way back here. It doesn't seem like there's another level. So wherever it is, it has to be a, uh, retrievable from here. So it's in that nook somewhere maybe? Or it's in the water, maybe.
I mean, it seems kind of like it would be up there and it drops down onto there. I don't want to waste bullets on nothing. Like, there's not an obvious target. Le Google? Where am I? Tell me where I am. Give me a name with this location. Le Google. Resident Evil or Island Treasure. The island is a region you'll explore. Really? Interesting, so this is not treasure one for them. This is treasure... Okay, so it's not showing me the next level yet, but it is showing me the treasure of the next level. Thank you, IGN. Uh, so was this where that gun was? And that gun was blocking this. No. That gun was blocking this. Okay. So I guess we need to sneak a bit. I wonder if you can see the top of my shotgun. One down. Tango down. You know, despite everything that happened with Kojima and the fact that the end of the game is an absolute mess, uh, I really did, did enjoy Metal Gear Solid uh, uh, Phantom Pain. I was going to say Ground Zeroes. I did enjoy that too, but Ground Zeroes is the demo for Phantom Pain. Isn't there a... I feel like there's a thing somewhere that lets me change the guns to be friendly. Like, switch their target? Or am I misremembering? What are we dealing with? You gonna turn around or are you good? You happy? You gonna stay there? Okay, that's where we came from. This is probably the longest I've successfully stealthed in this game. Oh, there's a spotlight there. Probably should have cared about that. Okay. Ooh. 
Why does that red herb look different? Is it different? No. God, I got so many grenades. How much have I got? And how much is it for rifle? No. Oh, I've got 14. Uh, maybe then. Mm. No. Have you heard of the password game? I have not. Now, is that going to alert? If I blow that barrel up, are they all going to be like, he's over here? Basically, you create a password with increasingly complicated rules. And people have to crack it. Can you just use LastPass to make the password? Uh, so rules 1 to 4 are simple. 5 plus characters including uppercase, letter, number and special character. Rule 5 is the digits in your password have to add up to 25. Rule six is your password must include a month of the year. So should play it. So when you get to rule six, is rule five still applicable? Rule seven is it must include a Roman numeral uh, and things like that. Wow. Okay. That gets complicated. That gets complicated pretty quickly. Is, is that what smart people do for fun? <laughs> At rule 13, yours is now password 77 diner june. Oh, okay, you can put the month in as a word. Vip uh, Pepsi exclamation mark F6NE5. Moon emoji. <laughs> oh dear. How smart people get their jollies. Rule 13 is it must include the current current face of the moon as an emote. Oh, my knife is almost out. I wonder if I should go back and repair it. I reckon I should go back and repair it. I have a pretty safe route back. You have to play Fukin GeoGuessr for Rule 14 because it has to include the name of this country. Uh, GeoGuessr is pretty fun. There's a YouTube channel I quite like called GeoWizard. He plays a lot of GeoGuessr. But he also does real life stuff. Like, can he walk across a country in a straight line? Oh boy. I think it might be time to break cover. Crossbow guy's got that pretty locked down. Although I do worry, if I break cover, are more guards going to come out through that door?
it is a Spanish-speaking country of some kind. So you've got Latin America uh, or, you know, Spain or possibly even a very small part of India. Damn it. Damn. Oh, I knew it. Oh god. Uh, hello, limited GIF or GIF. Uh, welcome in. Yes, Resident Evil 4. Also, if you were wondering what diner in the password was, it's because of rule 11, your password must include today's word or answer. Okay, this game definitely sounds like a smart people game. How, how are you, limited GIF? Slash GIF. I don't know. Have we decided what we prefer on that one? <laughs> no, you can't climb that. You can't climb. Leon! You climb every other ledge! Oh, is that helping me? Uh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Hello. Hello. Ziff, how are you doing? Oh, I'm about to get shot. Oh, I thought I could run for it. Oh, well. <sighs> oh, witchy. It's almost time, Ziff. It's almost time. Holy shit, rule 16, your password must include the best move in uh, algebraic chess notation. What? What are you even saying, Krivos? Is that something you can Google? You don't know. Oh, they all respawn. Probably. Oh, does that mean I don't have the treasure? It does. Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ziff. I squandered your jump scare. You've been waiting so long. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, I think rather than doing all the stealth now, I want to test a theory. Is he going to get annoyed? Or, you know, are they going to raise an alarm if I pop one of their heads from range? All right. Theory tested. Good. Okay, so there's a spotlight there, there's a guy down there, and there's a treasure chest over there. Okay, go.
Oh well. Oh well, it is what it is. I'm just gonna grab that, don't mind me. And I'm just gonna uh, run in here, grab that. Again, don't mind me. Excuse me, coming through, excuse me. Holy fook, you need to remake your capture rule 10 because it contains F6, which is algebraic chess notation. Yes, actually it is. Yeah, 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 I know that. I know enough about chess to know at least that. Uh, right, where do I go now? Oh, hello. Ah, let me, let me. Hi. Don't mind me. Right, so that's pointing up there. If I change that to there, how do I then use that? In there somehow. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. My me, just gonna grab whatever this is. Eek, ow. Ah. Ow, 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 ow. Death number two. Rule 17, this is my chicken pool. He hasn't hatched yet. Please put him in your password and keep him safe. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm sure that makes sense. Rule 18, the elements in your password must have atomic numbers that add up to 200. Nope, we're back in smart people territory. Right, so how did I get spotted? last time but not the first time what was the difference the only difference is i popped this guy's head but i think i still think that's the right thing to do he stops swaying so much <sighs> this seems like a good stream game though the password game how do you stream it it, surely it's just you thinking. I'm assuming because you don't have armor, your hand is weak. Ooh, that helped. Is this a good strategy? Just stand here. Uh oh, that's way too close. Panicking. Whew. 
Oh, do they just keep coming? Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> we did it the brute force way. I'm pretty sure when I played this the first time, I ended up just doing it the brute force way. I would like to go back and repair my knife. Uh, hey, it's Jared. How are you doing? I am doing good, thank you. I watched the new Indiana Jones movie today. That was pretty fun. And now I'm playing some Rizzy. Holy shit! You accidentally removed the egg emoji and it reset your game because Paul has been slain. Oh no. You killed the chicken, Gripos. You can never let Rachel know it's her favourite animal. I would like. Wait, what? A well tuned weapon can make up for a lack of skill. Am I not using my knife? I might not be using my knife. I might be but using a knife I picked well up. <laughs> Ooh, definitely can't afford that. Let's put the rum back in. Save. Save. Sounds like a good day. You're just getting off work. Oh, yeah. Other people live in different countries. What time is it for you? Did you play? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I played it so long ago that a lot of this is a surprise to me. <laughs> I genuinely can't remember most of it. Uh, oh, how do I get past that now? Almost 6 p.m. Nice. You've still got a lot of the day left. It's almost 11 here. Fooking the chess move is wrong now. See, Krifos, this is why it's a smart person game. Uh, right, I don't think I got as far as moving that before I got absolutely mauled. Oh, wait. No, I must have. So there's a red herb there. Grab that. And let's do a little bit of uh, crafting. Like that. Still don't have the right tools to build some shotguns. Shells. Do you remember the Boston typewriter? It was the machine gun you unlocked. No, so I'm not someone who really replays games. So I would have beat the game and then that would have been it for me. I don't know why. I've just never really been the kind of person who goes, okay, I'll play that again in a slightly different way. Uh, or New Game Plus, or any of that jazz. Understandable. So I need to move that. Problem is, if I move that... I'm still not clear how I get up there, but at least I can poke around without people trying to kill me now. So we move that, and then it blocks the stairs. Leon, for some reason, has decided that this ledge, the one that actually has pretty good handholds, is uh, just a bit too much for him. 
This one? No, just, just too much. Can't climb through there. Way too dangerous. There's rust on that metal. Um, rule 19, all vowels in your password must be bolded. What, like with HTML? Eh? Oh, I think I see the way through. Yes. Yay! We did it! I wonder if it was actually possible to do that without uh, ending up with an alarm going off. I mean, I guess it probably is. I'm just not very good at stealth. General rule of thumb, I'm not good at stealth. Not anymore, it doesn't. Oh, you're about to get up. Open your mouth. done it made the new game plus trivial it had unlimited ammo and a high fire rate it was a nice reward yeah i have heard that resident evil games have a tendency to for the the second playthrough overpower you so that it's kind of more like a fun action game than a survival game Open up. Open up. Oh, I am burning ammo. I am burning ammo. Speaking of survival game. A second. Yay, ammo. Oh, are we back to stealthing? Boo. I suck at stealthing. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Oh, my knife broke. It's a good job I've got another one. Okay, so that treasure that I couldn't figure out before is actually up here somewhere. Is that where we came from? Yeah. Yeah. I hope the checkpoints in this are generous. Is 
Didn't check my corners. Oh well. Okay, the fuck am I supposed to do now that you have the shit bolded? Kuwait has a U and an I. Today's word or answer is diner, which has an I and an E, and Pepsi, Starbucks, and Shell all have vowels in them. Uh, you're gonna have to create a monster password. Like, possibly the longest password in recorded history. Do you imagine a site having such a crazy rules? Oh god. Oh god. Oh, this isn't good. Rule eight being your password must include one of the sponsors and images of Pepsi Starbucks and Shell logos. to the side and it foiled my plan. Okay. I just saw someone pointing a laser at me. Tried to be sneaky and write Kuwait with. Uh, uh, I lost it. Tried to be sneaky and write Kuwait with its Arabic name of. Uh, is that Sanskrit? I don't know the names of languages or text types. Uh, and it doesn't work. Parry this, pulls out a shotgun. <laughs> it's my uh, Matrix moment. Dodge this, asshole. Is that. That's where I came from. How do I get that treasure? I want the treasure! The game! Give me the treasure! That looks like it's going to open up a shortcut. There's the treasure! Golden Lynx. Cool. Just rocket launcher dude to deal with. Limber up. Where is he? Where is he? I haven't seen him. Oh. Did I just shoot a rocket out of the midair? Or was it a crossbow bolt? Can we just pretend it was a rocket? That would be way more impressive. Mm, no, you're not supposed to take more than three bullets. Come on. Actual pro gamer. <laughs> oh, and you sprouted a thing. Of course you have. Are you a boss? I 
think you need to remember your station in life, random mob. Thank you, it's Jared. That is exactly what happened. Definitely no one can question otherwise. Okay, I think we might be good. No, I hear noises. I do remember this very particular bit being a pain. Your password got set on fire. By some sort of firewall? No, by the fire emoji. <laughs> That's very cool. I like that. That sounds pretty fun. <laughs> you had to take them out before they got to pool. Too done? I think they're done. Rule 21, your password is not strong enough, so you need the strength emoji. Three of them. Uh, it's amazing how well captured, uh, how well they captured the gun mechanics in the game. Like with the Mauser, the pistol you're currently using, Leon actually uses that reload clip to reload the gun. Uh, cool. <laughs> I'm from the UK. I only know about knives. Knife crime is our thing. I do wonder if. Presented with a gun, if I've seen enough in movies to be able to load it and use it. Rule 22, your password must contain one of the following affirmations. I am loved, I am worthy, uh, I am enough. Well, I'm afraid that's where I would have to uh, bail out of the game. I don't trust this. I don't trust this. Okay. You overfed dwarf and died. Good god, this game is insane. Because you're going to have to start again. That guy's got a rocket. Let's deal with him first, shall we? I, I think I could manage that. You, you did something to pop a cartridge out. Is that what you call it? A cartridge? Uh has hatched. Please don't forget to feed him. He eats three caterpillars every minute. Okay, so your password changes every minute. Um, rule 24 is your password must include the URL of a 30 minute and 42... What?
That's just cruel. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I reckon I could probably load a gun. He, he like did a thing and it popped out the thing. And then he put another thing in and it just kind of went in. And then he slid a thing. I reckon I can do that. I can slide things and pop things. Easy. So while you're searching for that YouTube video, you yeah, you've got to keep feeling full. Depends on the type of gun too. Yeah, I reckon older guns are probably going to be more difficult because they hadn't figured out what they're doing. They probably don't have nice cartridges or whatever you call them. Clips? Wullity wullities. some handgun ammo about now. You have to play more GeoGuessr. I mean, that's not a bad thing. GeoGuessr is kind of fun. Another crown? What? Another crown? Another one? Not with this one. It's someone's fucking wedding venue. Toy. Where you at, toy? Where you at? Sounds like it's coming from that general direction. Don't see it. Nice. Thank you, game. That is generous. Not yet. I want to be doing whatever that is just yet. Ha. Huh. I thought it might be on the roof of that container. I see it. Hee. <laughs> okay, so we got a big door down there, which will almost certainly unleash upon me some horrible creature. Or oh, we've got an obvious trap. Confirmation boop. The thing Leon put in the pistol is called a clip, and the thing on the sniper rifle is called a magazine? Why are they different? Or well, mag for short, uh, oh, you're about to tell me. A clip holds the proper amount of bullets to fully load a gun in one time, whereas a magazine can hold 
the full amount or one bullet. Huh. Interesting. So a clip can only ever be full when you load it. Ooh, save room. Well, in that case, I get a little less worried about doing this. Is there like some technical reason for that? Is it just how they were designed? Doesn't look like I can get in through here. Need to find another way. Now to bestow upon you some UK knife knowledge. Knives can be big or they can be small. There you go. Won't open. I mean, you didn't exactly try. You just kind of went... Put your back into it. The amount of times I've seen you slamming through doors. You need to do chess again. Uh, here's an slightly embarrassing fact about me. I don't know how to play chess. I mean, I know I know the general the general thing. Like pawns move forward two spaces on the first turn if you like, or just generally one space. Uh, the knight does like an L shape. Uh, Bishops go diagonally. Uh, rooks can only move in straight lines. The queen can move anywhere. The king can only move in straight lines, maybe? And I think those are all the pieces, but I don't know I don't know how to play chess. I, I don't know how to be good at it. Uh, the older guns were designed only to take flips. Huh. I guess it was like a design flaw back in the original day, and then they invented it. magazines. And something new every day. King can only move one space, but in any direction. Ah, okay. Whereas the queen can just flat out pelt it across the entire board as long as it's open in that direction. And if your pawn gets to the other side, you can... Uh, turn it into a queen and your king and a rook any any piece oh, okay um, not one piece any piece not one piece one piece you know the anime I'm making a reference to a thing I know nothing about uh, I wonder if I can trick that <laughs> thank you so much it's Jared I really appreciate that. You you genuinely the words genuinely don't have to, but thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your ad-free viewing and uh relatively not great emotes. <laughs> I do intend to get better emotes at some point. Uh, what was the other thing I said? Oh yeah 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 yeah. So here's a, a thing I do know in chess. Kind of know, I don't remember the details, but your king and your rook can swap places, I think? It's called castling. And also, if you move your pawn two places on the first move, your opponent can do something called ampersand, I think, where they sort of, they take it in a special way. I don't know. I don't know enough about that one. When can the king castle? Um, when they can, when they can swap. So if the castle can move 
directly to the king. Oh, wait, I, can the king hop over the queen? Is that how it works? What's the special way? You know what we're finding out? I actually know a lot more about chess than I thought. <laughs> uh, what is the special way? Always glad to subscribe and support. Why am I suddenly not able to talk? Always glad to subscribe and support. Uh, thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. I, I I always kind of don't know how to react to people being nice, you know? Uh, I don't know, Kryphos. I can't remember the ampersand other than it's a thing that happens when the player moves their pawn two spots. The ampersand has to be done with a pawn and it moves one forward capturing a pawn on the adjacent square after the move. Uh, I thought I understood, but then I thought about it a bit more and, and my brain went, no, you don't get that. You don't understand that. He's, he's talking gibberish. Paul is going to hatch again soon. Get ready to feed him. He won't overfeed. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that monitor! When was this set? Like 2006? Oh, probably earlier. Flat screens existed in 2006. 2000? That is a chonky monitor. I remember having to have a monitor. I had a 32 inch. You can hear the dial up tone now. Yeah, I know, right? Oh god. When loading an image was like. Okay, what is this going to unleash? I had, yeah, I had a 32 inch CRT TV. Um, it was enormous. Probably the heaviest thing I've ever owned. Actually, no, I have a car. Actually, no, I have a house. I'd say the house is probably the heaviest thing I've ever owned. Uh, Fook. You can't just easily search for specific lengths of YouTube. Yeah, I know. That's why I, I thought that is cruel. That is a cruel one to give you. I, I have no idea how you're going to find that unless there's like a trick and the website themselves actually have one of a video that is that length. Good Lord, those were massive. Yeah. You could kill a person with that TV. I don't know why my brain went straight to murdering someone with that TV, but Ashley. you could. Ashley! Come on, Ashley, wake up! Shit! Hang in there. <laughs> oh, you're on to me, game. What if I just shot near her? That might wake her up. The dark side. We have cookies. Rule 25. A sacrifice must be made. Pick two letters that will no you will no longer be able to use them. Do you fail like as soon as you use it? Or is there any kind of life or warning or anything that's like, hey, you've done a bad thing, but you've got another try. Apparently you ever fed Paul again. I have to ask Griffos, are you enjoying this game or are you just playing it, um, you know, out of spite, addiction? 
You are actually having a lot of fun. Okay. I mean, that doesn't seem right. Need a key card. But also option two. <laughs> In memoriam. Is that what they say? In memoriam. He will be missed. Doors jammed. Ah. Ah. So I don't have a key card. I can't open that. I can't do that. Oh, there's a ladder. There we go. All survived for rather long this time. Way longer than last time. Congratulations! You improved. Incremental improvement. He eats every 20 seconds, and if there's too many caterpillars in the password, chooses to gorge himself, apparently. As you would. As you would. You put two Domino's pizzas in front of me, I'm going to eat them both. Hello! Ow! Ha! But now you don't have an axe. All part of the plan. Oh, hello. Ooh! That's vicious! Lovely. Uh, yeah. Sorry, must have slipped. Steven Seagal kick. Same, honestly, Domino's Pizza is great. It's definitely Moorish. What's your go-to topping? We probably don't have the same toppings, actually. My go-to topping uh, in the UK is one called Ranch Barbecue, which is basically a bunch of meats with a barbecue sauce. Hi, Dolly. How are you doing? Thank you for the luck. I hope whatever you're up to is great fun. <laughs> okay, so I guess I can't open any of those. That actually sounds fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. They have another barbecue, which is chicken, red pepper, red onion, and barbecue sauce. Uh, but I do prefer the, the ranch barbecue. They also do a McDonald's cheeseburger pizza. Which, oddly, other than the dough, genuinely does taste like a McDonald's cheeseburger. Oh, that's the wrong one. Give me so many of this one. I don't need this one. I need the other one. I'm going to sell a few of those and buy some of the other ones the next time I come across the merchant. What's that? Is that just a shed load of cans of drink or something? Leon, take one. Have a swig. Uh, are we done here? No. What level are you on? Oh, you're on the next level. Then yes! You all got the good stuff across the pond. Your favourite would have to be ham, onion and anchovies. Interesting. Controversial. Anchovies. 
I would I would say I'm not a fan, but I actually don't know because I've never tried them. It's one of those things that I think I wouldn't like, so I've never tried them. Does that make me prejudice against anchovies? Does that make me a bad person? Can't read it. Too small. stocked kitchen. It's been too long without anything jumping out at me. There we go. Perfectly predicted. <laughs> Why did you put yourself in the oven? He says trying to put himself in the oven. Black bass. You know what? I'm going to eat that. Num num num. I've got some new items in stock. <laughs> Come take a look. Hello. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Rare things. That's what I need. Oops, wrong button. Bang for your buck. I don't always have this in stock, stranger. Uh, and I want to sell. Your valuables won't do you much good leisure that. doing business with you. And. Do I need? I don't need to. You got up to rule 26. Your password must contain twice as many Italian characters as bold. Oh dear. Can they be bold and italic? Uh, you don't know how to describe anchovies. It's like a very salty piece of ham. Ah, that actually sounds nice. I thought it would be very fishy. Which is kind of why I, I assume I don't like I wouldn't like it, because I don't like fishy things. I don't like salmon, for instance. Tuna, love. Whitefish, cod, love. But stuff that tastes fishy fishy, I'm out. Uh, and 27 is at least 30% of your password must be in the Wingdings font. Which means you're not gonna know what the characters are anymore. Um Although most pizza places you go to don't like making them because it stinks up that whole kitchen. That's under understandable. We had, uh, where I used to work, there was someone who used to microwave kippers for lunch until a very stern email was sent out saying, no more kippers. Uh, what am I doing? I want to decrease the price of upgrades. You overfed Paul again. <laughs> Welcome. I got something new for you. Sounds like Paul is living the life of Riley. Thank you. Uh, tune up. Knife needs care every once in a while. See how that feels, mate. Fella like you that the care came into so don't get yourself killed now. And let's put the run speed back. Good to go. <laughs> Brown chicken egg. Where did that come from? I hear a chicken. There he is. Oh, I did the thing I wanted to do as well. So now, craft shotgun shells. Perfect. Okay. Let's 
scary stuff? Are we about to get some scary stuff? So I need two key cards for that. It's turned into doom all of a sudden. I'm going to collect key cards. Mmm, rotting raw beef. I bet that's a thing somewhere. Like, technically, technically steak is, or carpaccio is rotting raw beef. It's just very early in the stages of rot. Yeah, got you, Griffos, on a technicality. <laughs> yeah, entropy. Everything is wrong. Oh, no. This is ringing a bell, actually. This is ringing a bell as a, an area that I hated. Because you had to... I think I ended up looking at a guide for this, actually, because you had to figure out the route to get to the cards to unlock each sequence. I feel like I may have ended up looking at a guide when I when I did this. Try the password game. Krivos, I am not smart. I might sound like I am smart, but I am not smart. I may give off the impression that I am smart, but I am not smart. <laughs> I am essentially, apart from the fact that I lean very left and I'm not a complete dickhead, uh, Jacob Rees Mogg, in the sense that I sound like I'm smart, but I'm not. It's honestly not that hard. At least up to the point of feeding Paul. I mean, you were doing chess notations. I guess that needs power then. There's chess calculators. I mean, I'm not, I'm not scared. I'm uneasy right now. Your keycard application has been approved by the head of department. Please bring your level one keycard to dissection and follow the procedure on the next page. Overwrite card for level two clearance using the machine located in the freezer. Overwrite card for level three clearance using the machine located in the incubation lab. Please ask each section supervisor for permission to access the machines. Facility one administration department. Oh boy. You're fine for now. Thank you. Or are you just saying I'm fine for now because uh, the entropy is not quite taking hold of me just yet? Right, where am I going? Both. <laughs> I mean, I don't know really at what age most people lose their hair or their teeth. But so far, I mean, it's gone back a tiny bit, but it's still there. And all of my teeth are still there. I'm happy with that. I should have paid attention to that note. Level 2, power control, electronic lock terminal, level 1, lock. Okay, so I think I need to go that way then.
Why did you turn your torch off? Are you crazy? Based on genetics, you think? Yeah, I guess so. I guess there isn't, maybe there isn't like a definitive when you hit 39, this will happen kind of thing. Uh, what the heck am I looking at? Where's the inn? Oh, it's at the top. Okay, so it comes in. It goes... So where does it need to finish? Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now I get it. Uh, nope. Okay, so it's not that. Okay, so we've got one of them. Turning the wrong one. Ah, oh, no. How do I get both of them? Hey. Yeah. Thank you, Griffos. I know I'm dumb. I figured it out. <laughs> Uh, well, that's pleasant. That almost looks like, you know, when you unlock 3D models in games that you can just go and look at? It looks, it the way it's posed like that, it kind of looks like it's just one of those. experiments are they doing here? Like, it doesn't seem like these things would naturally not be affected by gravity. Or these tendrils. So it looks kind of unnatural. Uh, same could be said for grey hairs. Typically around 40s or so it starts really showing. But I'm in my mid-20s, but most of my hair is starting to grey already. It's weird. I had the same. I was graying in my late teens around the edges. So the, the, the sides of my hair are pretty much entirely gray, which annoyingly, once my hair reaches a certain length, kind of makes it look like I'm wearing a wig. Um, which, you know, it's not ideal. <laughs> But my hairdresser lady says not to dye it because it looks all right when it's not that length. Uh, it's... Wait, what? At last I have created new life. I call it Regenerador. Its metabolic capacity is incredible. Unless all the parasites residing within the organism are destroyed, its tissue can regenerate indefinitely. Okay, so no point wasting too many bullets on it. Uh, upon examining the body with a biosensor scope, I was able to confirm that the parasites behave like vital organs for the host, almost as though it has multiple hearts. This new creation of mine is essentially immortal. Surely even Dr. Frankenstein himself would want to shake my hand in admiration. I shared the news of my achievement with that pretentious bastard colleague of mine. His face went white. Then he started scribbling something in his notebook. I thought he'd be impressed, but instead he actually had the nerve to warn me of the so-called dangers. He's a fool. I have everything under control. The subject went wild and escaped from the cryogenic tank. I was the real fool. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I'm not the only one whose hair was graying early. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's awesome. <laughs> You are no longer fine. I think, I mean, I don't know, but I would probably assume, I don't, is there truth to the whole, you grey from stress? Because 
Stress would be a likely candidate. Is there a treasure in here? Yeah, I'm just not seeing it. Ah, there. Whoa. Excuse me, coming through. Panic, panic, panic. What did I miss? Gunpowder. Do I care? Do I care? Where do I need to go? There. You haven't done any research, but you believe there is a correlation between stress and grey hair. Yeah, then that could be what caused it for me as... Oh, no! Uh, my childhood was very interesting. Ooh, I mean, everyone's childhood is somewhat interesting. Which is why I don't really talk about it, because, you know, I don't want to get into that kind of... Uh, not competitive. What's the thing I'm looking for? Is that where I'm supposed to go? Overwrite terminal. I've gone the wrong way. Oh, hello. Come get me! It looks so tasty! Stab! See ya! Oh, where am I going? I think I've just run past the thing I need. Damn it! Damn it! Okay. I know I can do a little loop. Turn the torch on, Leon. There we go. Thank you. No! Ow! You got me in the back. How do I do that? Is that this? Yes! Ooh! 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 Ooh, I picked up an egg. Where are you? Yum, 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 yum. Oh, lovely. Oh, God. Do I have to do this with the thing following me? Wait, did I just do it? Oh, not quite. Not quite. Okay, it seems the creature has left me alone for now. Oh god, this is tricky. So I need that. That top one is right. Because I need that. That one is right. No, that one can't be right. So that must do that. Uh, which means that? What does it mean if it's the two... You, Dad. Oh, God, I'm confused. Three of them. Hey, did I do it? No. Hey, yay. You haven't done any research, but there is correlation between closeness to genital <laughs> and grey hair. Am I temporarily safe? Because it's cold in here or something? He doesn't like it? answer is no. You are never safe. Good to know. Thank you. Ooh. 
Le 15. A new SMG, so I should keep that. Is that what you're saying? Well, I have no bullets for it, but sure. I mean, I suppose I could make some. Can I make some? SMG. Uh, oh, it's already fully loaded. Register shortcut. Uh, we'll put you below the shotgun, why not? Okay, that'll have to do. It's getting a bit cramped, but that'll have to do. Did that change anything? So I can make more sub. Does that stack? Where are you? 45. Yeah, I reckon that stacks. 75. Sub goes to like 200. Nice. Beep boop. Thank you for your patience. Oh. Now I know what's going on. You see that? Magically firing from behind myself. Should I just go and do a loop? I guess I'll go and do a loop. Do I remember where the loop is? Oh, hello. Don't be there. Continue to not be there. Thank you for not being there. Give. Right, where are we going? Level 2 keycard lock. So we want to go out and straight. That was not a fun surprise party. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark. How are you doing? Oh, hey, 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 hey. I do this now. Full screen, even though it's covered by the raid thing. Uh, oh, no, no, Oh, no, no. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the four months of subscription. Gosh, doesn't time fly. Uh, how are you doing, Omok? And what were you playing? And let me do one of these. Yeah. Uh, Rimworld. Am I dead? Am I still dead? Did I get revived? Did you make a new me? Have I come back? Um... This, on the other hand, is a fun surprise party. Yes, it is. No, still dead. Okay. <laughs> well, I died in a hail of bullets. That's better than dying to weird white blobby monsters. Uh, how are you? I hope you are good. As you can see, I am in the middle of being chased by super fun, happy creatures. Um, kind of, They kind of look like children's TV characters. If children's TV characters were things of nightmares, which they usually are. Uh... Yeah, I think. What else is the thing you're supposed to say when someone raids? If you need to raid and run, please do so. And I think that about covers it. Good news is you finished your map and you have started over. Okay, so there's a chance for a new CG to die in a hail of bullets. Yeah. <laughs> Supper time! I hope you have a delicious whatever it is you're eating. Oh god. Are they gonna follow me in here? Yep. 
Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Have a great rest of your stream and I'll talk to you later. Thank you, Omok. Cheerio. <laughs> Blah. Maybe it'll be something more exciting like an explosion or being beaten to death with a club. One can only hope. <laughs> oh dear. You done? Are you done? Are they not following? They stopped. The music is gone. We have a moment to relax. Okay. I wonder if I should go back and save. I'm gonna go back and save. Trapped in a coffee mug, how are you doing? I feel like I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, I hope you are good. Eight months, thank you so much. Uh, that is a long time. Thank you so much for your support. <laughs> I feel like I'm letting you down with poor emotes. I should get better emotes. Ooh, you have we made it. We saved. <laughs> Stench of battle on you, mate. <laughs> Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. <gasps> Why not try your hand at a new gun, stranger? Want? I'd save you. A deal well but struck. can't quite get. Want but can't quite get. Damn it. Ruby's all rubbish. She makes no difference. The price will come back. If you were moving, it's been a saga. I hope up. that uh, it's nice and you're settled in. Were you moving? In with someone? Are you moving somewhere by yourself? Are you? Do you mind talking about where you moved? How you moved? How it went? I bought this house all of three months ago, as you probably remember when I was going through all the mortgage stuff. So my moving was non-existent because <laughs> I was already in the house. Oh, you know what? There you go. Just so I can have more inventory space, really. To another state, closer to help family. Yeah, I can imagine in America the size of the place. Uh, that is rather more tricky than here. Like, my family are easily within driving distance, um, should they need me. Is the UK housing market as bad as the US housing market? Well, at the moment, we are in uh, a mortgage crisis, it's being labelled where a lot of companies that do mortgages, if your mortgage is about to end, so you've got like a fixed rate mortgage for five years and it's about to end, you can expect your mortgage payments to double. That's what people are expecting. There's rough talk of potential mass repossessions. Um, so that's fun. Although the Bank of England have said, no, that's not gonna happen. Um, and the prime minister, his response to this, instead of doing anything to help, was to give a speech where he said, what were his precise words? Um, something like, knuckle down and hold on, something like that. I can't remember. It was something, it was basically, we're not doing anything. I hope you're okay. <laughs> Are you streaming in a new room or is your brain just a little broken? I'm not streaming in a new room, but I have got new lights, fancy, uh, and hung up the guitars, fancy, and put a shelf uh, behind me, which has like the stuff that was there. 
Uh, and that's probably about it. Yeah, when I bought the house, I moved some things around. Uh, sounds kind of similar to here in Canada. Yeah, I think the world is just not in a great state at the moment. But then I guess you could ask some people and they would say, when has it ever been? Uh, incubation. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good grief. Nice. So, I can't, so, September of last year is when my landlord said, either buy the place or get out because I want to sell it. Uh, I feel like it was September, and uh, the Prime Minister at that time, in the last year we've gone through like five, we've had a whole bunch of Prime Ministers, because they all keep either being scandalous and or just quitting because they're rubbish. Um, but a Prime Minister came in, she lasted, literally, this was a, a contest, a lettuce lasted longer than she did, so she was in there for maybe a week, but in her week, she destroyed the economy. She absolutely ruined mortgages. So the point at which I was told to either get out or buy the place coincided with that. So my mortgage is terrible. But even with my terrible mortgage, it's not as bad as the mortgages that people are going to get now. Um, it basically went from 2% to... 6% overnight. We have a great mortgage rate now. You're frightened for when our mortgage is due to be renewed. You're scared, which is next July. Yeah, a lot can happen before then, though. A lot can happen. Uh, any percent speed run room the economy. Oh, yeah. She, she, she should get a prize for just how awful she was, or, or I suppose how great she was at ruining the economy. She will go down in history. The only reason she'll be remembered is for a catastrophic effect on the economy. I don't remember the precise details on why the economy crashed. I can't remember what she did. I feel like it was like a really heavy taxation on poor people but giving money to rich people policy or something like that, which is very Tory. That's what they do. They, they are a right wing party, so they protect wealth, um, which, you know, that's not great to have for 13 years. Shit shouldn't be able to happen like that. Jeebus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I have now a 6% mortgage, which dramatically limited the house I could afford. So I, I could have, before she got in, afforded a place with a garden so I could get a dog. It would have been nice. That would have been great. But then she got in, and now I can't. I can afford a two-bedroom apartment, essentially. Um, do I have a level 3? Humans should really do better. Never a truer word has been spoken. I don't like this. This does not seem good to me. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's a knife. Do I care? Do I care? What could I get rid of for a knife? No, I'm leaving it. You stay there. I might get you later. <gasps> no! That, on the other hand... During a recent power outage, a test subject awoke from cryogenic stasis, broke out of its holding tank, and escaped. The subject was contained after 20 hours, leaving seven dead and 19 wounded. We were unable to recover one of the bodies and a tool from inside it. 
cause of this unfortunate incident is the unstable power supply. The outdated generators cannot keep up with our demanding schedule. Management must prioritize the needs of the engineers over those of the researchers to prevent something like this ever happening again. It's a bit harsh. No. Oh, I want to pick that up. Um. Um. Oops. Oh, it takes up four spots. Are you crazy? LE5 or Stingray? LE5 is that. Let's put it on that. <laughs> You're renting now, and it's almost triple what your mortgage was. Yeah, so I was renting... Obviously, I was renting this place before I bought it. Uh, and I had been renting it for about nine years. Uh, put it on the Stingray, please. Okay. Uh, for about nine years... Um, my rent hadn't really gone up in that time, so if I had decided to rent somewhere else, instead of buy this place or buy somewhere, my rent would have gone up astronomically. Um, you hate it, you feel like the first problem was the creepies in the con was keeping creepies in dry containers. <laughs> yeah, they uh, they didn't think this through. Okay, so I put that on that. Does that mean I can put that on that? Yeah. What's it do? Ooh, fancy. It makes everything kind of yellow. Oh! Now I understand. Three hearts. I'm about to be a Chad and break all their hearts. Shoot the one with the wrench in him, which for some reason is visible with the... Huh? Oh. Any particular reason? I mean, I assume I can't shoot him now. He's in a cryo chamber. Which I'm going to guess is conveniently bulletproof. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wrench. It just breaks the chamber and lets him loose. What can I do with a wrench? So, do you think I should waste the bullets to take them out one at a time now? Or, do a merry little dance and avoid try and avoid getting hit whilst I wait? They don't get loose. Okay. Is that what the wrench is for? Ah! <gasps> Smart. Smart. Scopey. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god. Eek. Uh can't grab it. Run away! Oh, you know what I could do though? Hold on. Hold on. Yield. Right, do I want to grab anything? Oh, there's some potatoes. And a green herb. Do I need a green herb? Yeah. Not really. I also don't need a grenade, so I feel like if I'm going to grab anything, green herb is probably the thing I want. Okay, we're going to do it. Potatoes and green herb. This thing is controlled by Ow. Damn it. Ow. Damn it. Oh, God. Excuse me. Coming through. Coming through. Don't mind me. Right, where are we going? Why is that yellow? Could I hide in that? Why are you yellow, Locker? Hmm. Oh, can I tell Ashley to hide in that? I bet that's it. I bet that's why. Rifle ammo? No. I need... There's a save point somewhere. There. Sorry, Ashley. You're gonna have to wait. What? I can't get back up. Ah, oh, no. Okay, how much do I want that rifle ammo? We have 13, 12, so 23. Uh, I would like that rifle ammo. Embra. Oh, God. Okay. Go, 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 go. No! Ah! Oh. I almost did it without getting hit. Is that just a clicky pen? You're gonna be okay. Instead of ink, it's medicine. <laughs> you know, like in 
films and stuff, they have like a pressurized injector. So it doesn't use a needle, it just goes and pressurizes it in. That's not a thing, right? That doesn't exist. Quarter past midnight. We'll go to the next next typewriter. You can save right here though. Yeah, but I want to see the cutscene. just in time. Can you stand? Oh, you're a doctor now, are you? He was worried about you. Until the end. Come on. We don't have much time. I don't know that telling her that was the right thing to do. For Louise. Because now whilst we're escaping, she's going to be thinking about how it's her fault that he's dead. Peter, come in. There's a lab where we can remove the parasites. I had a crazy hunch that you'd know where it is. He's a cop and a doctor. What an absolute unit. And handsome too. Crystal core. We were imprisoned without warning. One by one, we were taken to the next room. I do not know what happens there. They just took Annabelle. I, I am probably next. Got to think. Need to get my head straight. All who are infected with the plagia will be at the mercy of a Lord Sadler. If he commands it, they will work themselves to death with a smile on their face. Adversely, the host becomes so simple-minded that they're basically useless for any complex task. However, we succeeded in developing the new superior species of plagia. It has no special vari variability, but the host's cognitive functions are not diminished. It seems like they plan to administer this new species to the girl. It's clearly important that she maintains her intelligence after infection. All tests were successful, and plans for mass production are moving forward. The project is a complete success, but I've been imprisoned and preparations to inject me with the superior, superior species are underway in the next room. Annabelle is not herself anymore. The smile has been wiped completely from her face. Writing is the only thing that keeps me sane now. Not that anyone will ever read this. Well, more for you. I read it. Anything else? Yes. That bass. Can't fit it. Anything else? Mm, nope. I think we're done. Right. Where are we going? You got it? Duh. You're right. Don't get sassy, especially after we've just told you that Louise is Louis Lu, Louise is dead. I mean, I guess maybe that's her coping mechanism. Everyone has a different coping mechanism. Hers is to be snarky. Pretty much a master of unlocking. Oh, he's dead, is he? Sucks to be him. You know, that's kind of her energy. Anyone has a moment to spare? Would you please turn those blue medallions into a broken mess on the floor? I know that it won't bring back the old days, but I can't let this stand. Okay. I guess. Oh, okay. They're all ahead of me. I don't have to go back. Shh. 
shooting range here. All right. I've got some new items in stock. <laughs> what have you got? Look. Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. A deal well struck. <laughs> oh yeah, I want that, you don't see I? Is what I've got. Darn it, with the no space. Am I gonna have to sell one of those? Wait, no, not all three. How do I Oh, I should probably repair my knife. Oh, I thought I had more. Will that be your pleasant trip? Yes, that will be all. Uh, where's the typewriter? There you are. Cool. That is a good opportunity to have a look at what is going on in the world of Twitch. Uh... Oh, there's a min. Well, let's go say hi to Min. Min uh, is one of my bestest streaming friends, I guess. Uh, if if that's a thing, she's incredibly supportive and. Wow. She is very fun to hang around with. So we're going to go say hi to Min. And here's the raid message. And I was like, let me just, let me just put some There's the raid. It was not, it was not the right uh, decision. What do I say? <laughs> I say, God, that's going fast. Is that going to kick me out? Okay, no good. Uh, yes, cool. Thank you so much for the raids. Thank you so much to anyone who hung around. Thank you so much for the subscriptions as well. This has been a busy night. Uh, I intend to be back on Saturday. All being well. Probably carrying on with this as I kind of want to get through it now. Um, so that I can move on to the next game. Uh, yeah. Thank you all. I appreciate you all so much. Have a great rest of your time zone. Please feel free to join me in copying and pasting the rate message and saying hi to Min. Bye. Bye. Thank you.